It is Tuesday, the 10th of May, 2022. You're watching the 719 Report. On the market today, 759 properties. 62 less than yesterday. Not a bad number. It's kind of a high number for a Tuesday. Anyway, it's a good thing. Let's just jump right into the list and see what's available today. I don't have anything special to say. Let's just look at what's available. All right, jumping right into it, we'll see, you see that we start with one property under 100,000, 20 properties between 101 and 300,000, 374 properties between 301 and 600,000, 226 properties between 300 or 601 and 900,000, and 138 properties over 900,000. So there are 73 properties coming soon. So within the next 14 days, so 73 properties will be on the market. Uh, one property went on the market this morning since midnight. It's a little after four and 28 properties went on the market at or in the last 24 hours. If you're finding this information useful, yeah, please leave a comment or let me know somehow. Um, I've been advised to just stop making the videos that nobody cares. Um, I'd like to think that this is helping somebody. So please uh, find a way to support me. Let me know that, that this matters. You don't have to do anything financial. I mean, you don't even have to like or subscribe. I, I don't, you know, that whatever. Just let me know that you watch it, that uh, this is helpful, and you, 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 would, you, you find a benefit to these videos. So if, you, if you've ever thought about, like, renting to own instead of just buying outright. Uh, we work with a company that helps you with that. Um, just give us a call. We'll send you information on it and then get you uh, going down that road so that you could rent to own. So I used to do rental videos. They changed up that process so that I can't do those videos anymore. I could give you information, but I couldn't help you. I still can't help with rentals. It's really kind of annoying. Um, hopefully this week there's some type of resolve coming through. So if you haven't been pre-approved for a mortgage, uh, definitely get out there and get that done. We can send you a list of lenders and I don't make any money on any of that. I don't make any money on any of this. This is probably the most expensive part of my day every single day. Anyway, um, get that lender approval before you put in an offer. If you, if you uh, send an offer without a pre-approval, it'll probably just get ignored. So as you see, the number of days on the market is increasing. That helps out the buyer, but they're still going pretty quickly. But you do see that the number, the days on the market are increasing. There's quite a bit of double digits now. Um, things are still selling pretty quickly. They're just um, quicker than the historical average. It's uh, just slowed down a little bit. So yeah, you don't have to go race out to the property the day it hits the market to see it in most cases. But if you're really interested in a property, it is always wise to get out there as soon as you can. And, and you know, if you feel really like it, put an offer in and, and don't wait around too long because uh, you never know if somebody else might like that same property for the same reasons you do. So there's there's quite a few. I mean, what yesterday, 74 properties went under contract, change your status to pending. Uh, what's the difference, you say? Well, pending means that the sellers have accepted an offer, but there's some contingencies riding on it. So like the home inspection, uh, maybe like a radon inspection, or uh, a survey if it's a lot of land. So there's some type of contingency writing on it. So it's it's under uh, it's pending. So make sure those you know once those contingencies come off of it, then it'll change over to under contract. So under contract means it's gonna close unless something happens. Like well, unless something major happens or one of the two parties backs out. Yeah, like at the last minute, maybe the financing fell apart at the last minute, something like that. So usually, yeah. So. So we had 74 yesterday. Only 20 properties changed their status to sold yesterday. Um, 
the last week, 235 changed their status to uh, sold. It's not as, we've, we've had best busier weeks. All right, here we're looking at the 73 properties coming soon. There's one of them under 300,000, which isn't bad. Uh, most of them, like the rest of the market, is between that 300 to uh, 650,000 price range. There's a couple five bedroom places in there under 600,000. Out Meridian Ranch, that, those are pretty nice places. So if you saw anything interesting today, definitely give us a call. Let me know how I can help you uh, look at these properties. I would definitely love to show you them. If you're thinking about selling, let me know as well. I'd love to be of assistance to, for you. Um, we're here to help. That's our business model is to help people. I know we can't help people. It gets a little frustrating. Um, it's not about the money. Some people do real estate because it's about the money. It's not. Uh, we got into business because we had bad real estate experiences and uh, we don't want that to happen to you so anything we can do to help if you just need to learn something if you don't understand what's going on we'll help you out there so leave your comments below give me a call text DM however you want to get a hold of me there's lots of different ways uh, coming up next is our contact information so have a fantastic day we look forward to working with you soon, and we'll talk to you in the morning or tomorrow. This has been the 719 Report, brought to you by the Hayes Property Group of Colorado Springs, here for all your real estate needs. Buying, selling, or renting, we can help you find that property you're looking for. Have a fantastic day, and we'll talk soon.